You're watching The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV Angela Yee, Charlamagne the Guy. We are The Breakfast Club. We got a special guest in the building. Hey, Q! Hey, hey Q! What's up? Quincy Harris. Yeah. That's what they call you now. I just well, know you as Q, but they call you Quincy Harris. Yeah, now. or QDZ. That's what people know. Q-D-Z. How you doing, Angela? Hello. This, this is my second time meeting yeah, Angela. Yeah, actually met at BT Awards. Yeah. Really? Yeah, I just I walked, I pulled up on her like, hey, how you doing? She said, you're supposed to come to the show. I was like, oh, okay. So I'm, I'm excited. Now, if I don't know, how, how do we introduce QDZ? Uh, radio personality, yeah. Yeah. television radio personality. personality. Yeah, I was ra- I was in radio. I, I did for radio. years. For years, I was yeah. I started when, like 20 years ago. I was like 17. Well, y'all do the math, like 17, 18. <laughs> Holding down Philly for a long yeah. time. Put on meat mail. One of those guys that that really, <laughs> it didn't matter yeah. who you were. He, he allowed me on the show many times, and yeah. I had no name. And no, I like how Q. What were you doing? No, you didn't even hear what Q said out the gate. I put on meat mail. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, me. He you knows. Put, you put me on? A, a bunch of Philly people. Me, well, me and my man Cosmic Cap, we had like a radio show. So a Cosmic show. Cap. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so yeah, just, you know, putting rappers on and then it got too aggressive. So now I was like, I got to get out of here. Philly yeah. rap, Philly rap so been wait, aggressive. So what do you mean by it got too aggressive? It what got happened? too, I mean, people started, you know, uh, th- threats. I had to leave. They were threatening you? No, well, no, they have, but no. I, you know, <laughs> yeah, that's the joke. Have, they have, have, but no. But no, I moved to L.A. probably like, 2007? You moved to work with Big Boy. No, I just moved out there. I moved to okay. LA because I, I was- You just left Philly? Just, I just left. He's like, I'm going to go to Hollywood. Yeah, I That's was like, I want to move. That's a huge change. Yeah, I just like, me and my girlfriend at the time was like, yo, let's get- she, Well, she threatened. She was like, why you say you want to leave? Why don't you leave? She's my wife now. And uh, we we moved out, and I got a job two weeks later working on Big Boy Show. So it actually what? helped you out a lot, having a strong woman. Oh, my like, gosh. Oh, we got to get thank, out of here. Thank God, you yes. You have been in Philly still. Yeah. I feel like we skipping something, though. Why yeah. did you just up and say, yeah. let's go to LA? Why? I always wanted to move out there. Okay. I always wanted to do like TV. I always TV wanted to do, do TV. Everything because you were big in Philly. You had the biggest yeah. night show. You were doing every show, hosting events. Yeah, yeah. And you just was like, I, I'm out. Uh, yeah, because I, I stayed there my whole life. I, I graduated from Temple, Temple University. Stayed there my whole life. I was like, it's time to go. I met my wife. Just comfortable. Too comfortable. Mm. And she was like, yo, you said that you said you wanted to leave. Why aren't you? What, what's going on? Why are you not leaving? You're, you're not, not really, kids. You're not really comfortable in Philly till you grow a beard. You never grew yeah, a beard. Yeah, I never grew. I was yeah. never, the, yeah, I was never one of those guys. Never had a beard. Uh, never got beat up. Everything was cool. <laughs> and uh, it was just, it was time to go. And then I, I moved to LA, met, you know, well, I knew Big Boy. And uh, yeah, I got a job on the show like mm-hmm. two weeks later. And I was working with him. And, and then, you know, and then I was like, man, I need my own platform again. And I had a you know opportunity to come back to Philly, came back. I had like a kid, me and my wife, and I just transitioned from radio to television, uh, like in a three year span. Why didn't Big Boy work out? No, it did work out. Okay. No, 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 no. So I, congrats, like thank you to Big Boy. I produced a movie in L.A. It was like an independent movie. Uh, everything was going well, but then I had an opportunity to, you know, host my own show. And it was like, well, in, Philly. in Philadelphia. Radio. We're talking radio. I yeah, I'm, and I'm going to be real. My wife wanted to move back. Mm-hmm. She was like, yo, let's be closer to the family. And I'm like, yeah, we had our first son. I was like, no, I want to stay out here. And she's like, no, let's move back. And then I said no to him. And then they called me back. And just like you, because I, I was with uh, Envy on something uh, at, at Essence, I spoke to Tyrese. Mm-hmm. And Tyrese was like, yo, you need your own platform. If you're going to do, you know, all these multiple things you say you want to do, you need your own platform. Right. Damn Tyrese, that damn Damn Oracle. Tyrese. <laughs> and uh, I moved back. And then I was like, you know, they called me again. It was like, yo, you want the, you know, want the job? I was like, all right, I'll take it. And then we came back and it was like the best move in my professional I, career. I yes. talk in my book about, uh, you know, being, you know, it's not the size of the, the, the pond, but the size of the hustle of the fish in the pond. That's yeah. a good example because you was in L.A., but then yeah. you decided to go back to Philly, yeah. do your own radio show. Yeah, and it was then rough. You, and then you just learned how to really swim there, and then that tra- that made you go into television. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I always wanted to do it. Like, I would do, like, little things on um, the local Fox station. They would have me on for, like, American Idol. Mm-hmm. Like, you, what do you think about American Idol? So then when I moved back, I still had a relationship there, and then they would bring me on, and I just, like, used the leverage of celebrities I knew. I would, you know, run down on people, you mm-hmm. know, with a camera, just hustle. they bring me on, and... And then, you know, it was it became a point where I had to, like, make a transition. I was like, yo, if I really want to do this, mm-hmm. I got to, like, leave the radio alone. I was doing afternoon radio. I was doing morning TV, afternoon radio. The radio station at the time wanted me to do um, the morning show. And y'all know it's, it's kind of hard to do the morning show. Do, yeah, I was like, what station I was, was it? Uh, it was, it was the, the Radio 1 station out there. 100.3 to beat? 
Yeah, it was like 107. Yeah, they moved. Okay, got you, you, got they, you. Yeah, they moved. But uh, yeah, so I was like, all right, well, I, I got to make a transition. They asked me to do mornings. I said, no, I'm going to keep doing my morning TV thing. They flipped formats, and I just went. And that was 2014. No, I'll never forget, November 6, 2014. And then I, I just kept going hard at the TV thing. And then, you know, I got my, they came to me 2016. I said, yo, we want to do a, a talk show. They want to do a show on you. Yo. A I whole like, talk it. show. A whole show. And it's a local, it was a local daytime show in Philly. Yeah. At first. On uh-huh. Fox. Yep, yep. And now you got the big nationally syndicated rollout. Yeah. They're giving you the test run. Yeah, New York, LA, Atlanta, Charlotte, Detroit, Phoenix, Minneapolis. I forget. I feel like I'm forgetting somebody. Yeah, it's been it's been good. How many it's weeks? Been really good. Oh, uh, four? Yeah, we're doing four weeks, and then hopefully we'll come back. Got you. Yeah. That's great that everybody was actually coming to you, because that says a lot when people are offering you opportunities. Absolutely. And, yeah. you know, some of them you turned down because you felt like they weren't right, but people will still come back to you and want to work with you. So that says a lot about hard work and relationships. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. It was just trusting my gut, man. And, you know, I, I had to, like, I read your book. I completed it. Black Amazing. Privilege, opportunity comes to those who create it. It's really good. Thank uh, you. I got to go to your juice bar, Angela. Uh, I listen to your podcast, NB. I'm, I'm doing my research. Uh, but I just had to, like, do my own thing. Like, I had to figure out what my lane was. And my lane for me was... I feel like I'm I'm happy, I'm fun. Let me just segue over here and, and let me just, you know, you know, on TV with us, it's not that crowded. Yeah, yeah. Coming yeah. from urban hip hop culture. I was like, man, if I could do this and flip this over here, I can do my own thing. Especially a black yeah. guy doing daytime. Yeah. A younger black guy doing daytime. Tough, yeah, man. You know what I always wanted to know, like with, with Philly, especially you've been in Philly so long. Yeah. The houses in Philly at one time was like five thousand dollars. Some of them still are, yeah, yeah. And it was a great area, but they didn't took all those houses and built Philly up so crazy. How come you never invested in the city, or did you? Oh no, no, no! I like shout out to my man Antoine Gardner. Yeah, we always buy properties. Like okay. that was like one of the first things I did when I was, uh, you know, coming up getting like you know six dollars at the club. Like I will always do that. Mm-hmm. So yeah, no, I'm, I've always, always invested in Philadelphia. Like I, Philly will always be home. I don't care if I move. Anywhere in the world, I will always stay and invest in Philadelphia. Like, that's where I'm from. But you can make such a great living just in Philly alone. Yeah, but you can. Yeah, well, I feel like, yeah, you can. But if you have dreams and aspirations to be, you know, do bigger things, Mm -hmm. you got to go back and and, and see other things. And for me, if I didn't move to L.A. and work with Big Boy and see, like, you know, how he was doing things out there on on such a big level, I wouldn't have been able to come home and walk down and, you know, on my opportunity you know, at, at you know, at the local Fox station. What's been the most difficult thing in the past year? Uh, my mom passed away. Yeah, yeah my, a few yeah. months ago, right? Yeah, my Sorry mom. Yeah, that. yeah, my mom passed away, and just uh, you know, you guys know, just being personalities, like you know, you put things out there, and you you know, you have like a certain energy that you have to maintain. Man, I'm still going through it. It's some days I gotta Man. go out on my talk show and I have fun. It's like, damn, I'm thinking about my mom. Mm-hmm. You know, so I think that that's been the the toughest thing. And it's, 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 it's had to be difficult because like it's like one of the best times of your life. Yeah, like, you know. Yeah, yeah. Like we just had our um hundredth episode on uh, Valentine's Day, and my mom was there, and just you know like seeing her, you know her face. She was looking at me, and it was like a look like I'm not gonna be here long because my mom had she she fought cancer for four years. Mm. So, uh, yeah, I mean, that's the toughest thing. That's the toughest thing. Just but it's like, great that she was there long enough to see you be successful. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, it's a certain level, I guess. You know, I, I still got bills I, I got to pay. Now, on, <laughs> yeah. on the flip side, right, I was talking to you at, at the Essence thing we were doing. You don't really mess with your uh, wife's mom. Yeah, that's what we call her, too, my wife's mom. <laughs> yeah, y- yeah. Y- y'all don't speak? Y'all no, don't... no we, I'm trying to think last time I, I talked to that lady. Uh, Why she was... don't like you because you don't got a bid? No, well, she's not from here. She's not from Philly. Okay. She's not from Philly. She's from uh, a couple states down uh, in Virginia. But anyway, no, we don't talk. We don't talk. Man, she's a little. How do you have a fa- like a, a family event? Y'all we just don't. Don't speak. Like no, no, that's the thing. We just don't do that. Why no. she don't like you? Well, well, yeah. Well, the thing is with her, she's a special <laughs> lady. Like you, you all have special people in your family. Right. Angela looking looking at me like for real. Yeah, you all have special. <laughs> she's a special lady in the family. Like. I'm normal, I, I would like to believe. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, she's not normal. Is she an alien? Like, what do you mean, not normal? She, you all about to get me in trouble. She's, she doesn't think uh, like rational, a rational person. Oh, you about to get in trouble. Let me tell you something. What's wrong? I, she don't like your face? I, I, boy, I like my face. Well, I don't know what you trying to say. I'm saying, what's wrong? Charlemagne? I love I'm just trying to figure out why <laughs> no, she don't like me. No, I don't know why she don't like me. So, I, I'll tell you, the first time we met, 
uh, one of the first times, I go down there to go to church. We go to church. I'm a big Eagles fan. Boom. I'm looking on my uh, phone. This is like before internet. My boys are texting me, and I'm like, oh, snap. Okay. Oh, this is oh, this is what's happening with the Eagles. We In go church. out. No, this is after church. We okay. go we go to like uh, Shoney's or something. Ooh, right? <laughs> so <laughs> so she was like, hey, can I just see your phone? I was like, all right, yeah, sure. Gave her my phone. She put the phone in a uh, 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 soda, in a glass of soda. She's Ooh. like, I always wanted to do that. I was fuming. I was like, she took your cell phone. I swear on, on everything. She took Why my did she, do that? she took my cell phone and put it in a, in a glass of uh, Sprite. I never forget it. And I was like, oh, why'd you do that? She said, I always wanted to do that. We're we're having dinner and you're you're asking about the Eagles. I was like, wow. okay. Yeah, so we we That's haven't amazing. been Yeah, I hold grudges. <laughs> no, I try not to hold grudges. <laughs> I hold grudges. I'm reading this book called Return to Love. You gotta read that, uh, Angela, in your book club. But yeah, I'm trying to like not hold grudges. That's the only one What's I have your left. Sign? Uh, Capricorn, January 12th. Come on, yeah. talk to me. You know we're very stubborn. Boom. Yes. So that's my issue with her. <laughs> so uh, it's just been things ever since then. And she locked me in a room before I married my wife. Like, what's going on with my, why are you doing this to my daughter? I'm like, what are you talking about? She's like, you need to marry her. I'm like, I'm going to marry her. Calm down, lady. But how hard is that for your, how hard is that for your wife, for you guys to not get along? You know what, Angela? This is the one one thing of my relationship. I, I don't know. I'll let her deal with that. Um, That's not really on me. So you don't call her for Mother's Day? You don't no, say happy birthday? No, not at all. Christmas? Nah. I'm Q, cool. I'm gonna be honest, I'm cool. man. Uh, yeah. I gotta wear my executive producer hat. This is a great show. I think that you need to <laughs> yeah. get a therapist on with your wife and the mom and work this out on daytime know. television. Yeah, I think this is a great show, Q. I don't know, man. Yeah, maybe, maybe we need Ayana or yeah to fix it's our life. life. This is yeah. a great show. That you should have put her phone in a cup of soda. But I'm not. I'm no. Nah, I have respect for my elders. I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that. You call to that, that lady. lady. That lady. <laughs> that lady. That, she birthed my wife. That's the great thing that she did. That's the the, the, the most. Never mind. Y'all gonna get me. Did the kids get to see her at least? <laughs> I get. Well, yeah. She went down there. I think when was yeah. <laughs> she went down she, there. Yeah, my wife. Man, my wife went down there a couple of weeks ago. So she saw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where do you stay? <laughs> no, I don't go. Oh, I don't go. I let, go. I'm busy. I, I find other I'm things busy. to do. It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> now, now, Q, when's the show come on? We Q Q got to go back to Philly. Yeah, I'm about have to, to be, be there show. for the show, but we did want to bring him. Thank on. Thank y'all. I appreciate just, this. This is an honor. He'll definitely be back, but we just wanted to bring him on to promote the Q. Yes, the Q on Fox. Uh, check out uh, your local. Oh, I can say that now. Check out your local listings. There you go. <laughs> uh, for the Q on Fox. It's different times everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Different when does it come on in Philly? Uh, twelve noon. Twelve noon in Philly. What's today's big story? Oh snap! Oh, you you put me on the test. Uh, what do we have? Oh, today we went out BT Awards. Saw you out there. We'll uh, have game, and, and uh, me and game were talking about fatherhood because mm-hmm. you know this dude he loves his daughter. Mm-hmm. Uh, he said, "Don't tell her, say her, uh, her name, Callie Dream." Um, but he loves his daughter so much. He's just you know. He wants dudes to be warned and prepared about, you know, fatherhood because he's going to beat anybody up that tries to date his and daughter. I believe him. Yeah, I believe him too. Well, I was he has some scared. years for that still, right? Oh, he's he's getting ready though. A- absolutely. <laughs> That's why he's, he's gonna... staying in shape. He's staying in shape so he can be a nice <laughs> diesel old man who could whip young boys ass. Yeah. <laughs> he played in the celebrity basketball game. They, they were too serious. They were taking it very seriously, by the way. Absolutely. The only person I think who wasn't taking it as serious was Young and May. Oh yeah, she was hilarious. Yeah, yeah, she kept missing everything. But it was cool. It was it was fun. It was Young, all in fun. Young and made the stereotypical WNBA player, by the way. Stop I it. just want y'all to know. That. Stop <laughs> it. By the wow. way. Thank Bye. y'all for having me. I appreciate Thank you, this. Q. Thank y'all. Q D Z Quincy Aries. Hey, Q. Go watch the Q on, uh in Philly at noon on Fox. Do Check it. your local listings. All right, it's the Breakfast Club. Good morning.